At its annual GTC conference, NVIDIA revealed a wave of AI-focused corporate solutions. They contain information about the business's new silicon architecture, Hopper, the first data center GPU developed with that architecture, the H100, a new Grace CPU, Superchip, and Hazy plans to build EOS, the world's fastest AI supercomputer, according to the company. NVIDIA has reaped significant benefits from the recent decade's AI growth, with its GPUs proving an ideal match for popular, data-intensive deep learning approaches. NVIDIA says it wants to give additional firepower as the AI sector's need for data computing develops. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you how NVIDIA is posed to take over the entire AI, and potentially even the whole GPU industry with their new data center GPU. The corporation emphasized the popularity of a sort of machine learning system known as a transformer in particular. This strategy has shown to be extremely effective, powering anything from language models like OpenAI's GPT-3 to medical systems like DeepMind's AlphaFold. Over the last few years, the scale of such models has grown dramatically. For example, when OpenAI released GPT-2 in 2019, it included 1.5 billion parameters or links. Google employed 1.6 trillion parameters to train a comparable algorithm just two years later. Training these massive models still takes months, said Paresh Karia, senior director of product management at NVIDIA, at a press conference. So you dismiss a job and wait a month and a half to see what happens. One significant problem in minimizing training time is that performance improvements begin to fall as the number of GPUs in a data center increases. NVIDIA claims that their new Hopper architecture will help alleviate these issues. The architecture, named after pioneering computer scientist and U.S. Navy Rear Admiral Grace Hopper, is specialized to speed up transformer model training on H100 GPUs by six times over previous generation chips, while the new fourth-generation Navita NVLink can connect up to 256 H100 GPUs at nine times the bandwidth of the previous generation. The H100 GPU has 80 billion transistors and is the first GPU to support PCLE Gen 5 and HBM3, allowing for memory bandwidth of 3 terabytes per second. According to NVIDIA, an H100 GPU is three times quicker than the previous generation A100 in FP16, FP32, and FP64 computation, and six times faster in 8-bit floating-point math. For training huge transformer models, H100 will provide up to nine times the performance, training in days what used to take weeks, Karia added. When comparing models, choose the smallest one that can provide the precision you want. It will be faster to forecast and will demand fewer hardware resources for training and inference. Frugality may go a long way. It's also nothing new. SqueezeNet which debuted in 2017 and achieved a 50x decrease in model size compared to AlexNet while reaching or exceeding its accuracy, will be remembered by computer vision practitioners. That was brilliant. Downsizing initiatives in the natural language processing field are also underway, with transfer learning approaches such as knowledge distillation being used. Distill Bird is possibly its most well-known accomplishment. It preserves 97% of language understanding while being 40% smaller and 60% quicker than the original BERT model. You may test it out right here. The same method has been used to create various models, such as Facebook's BART, and you can test to still BART here. Recent big science project models are also quite amazing. Their T0 model surpasses GPT-3 on numerous tasks despite being 16x smaller, as seen in the graph provided in the study report. The Grace CPU Superchip, which consists of two CPUs coupled directly through a novel low-latency NVLink C2C, was also unveiled by the business. The chip is intended to service giant-scale HPC and AI workloads with the new Hopper-based GPUs, and it may be employed in CPU-only or GPU-accelerated servers. It contains 144 ARM cores and a memory bandwidth of 1 terabyte per second, NVIDIA also announced improvements to its numerous corporate AI software offerings, including Maxine, an SDK to give audio and video enhancements, designed to enable things like virtual avatars, and Riva, an SDK used for both speech recognition and text-to-speech. The corporation also hinted that it was developing a new AI supercomputer, 
which it says would be the fastest in the world when deployed. The EOS supercomputer will be constructed on the Hopper architecture and will have 4,600 H100 GPUs to provide 18.4 exaflops of AI performance. The system will only be used for internal NVIDIA research, and it will be available in a few months, according to the firm. Cloud firms, whether you like them or not, know how to develop efficient infrastructure. According to sustainability studies, cloud-based infrastructure is more energy and carbon efficient than alternatives, such as AWS, Azure, and Google. According to Earth.org, while cloud infrastructure isn't flawless, it is more energy efficient than the alternative and supports ecologically beneficial services and economic growth. For the last several years, the size of large language models has increased by a factor of 10. This is beginning to resemble another Moore's law. We've been down this path before, and we should be aware that it leads to declining benefits, greater costs, more complexity, and new threats. Exponentials rarely end happily. Do you recall Meltdown and Spectre? Do we want to know what that means for AI? The Instinct MI200 series, the successor to the AMD Instinct MI100 range, is estimated to give up to 4.9x greater performance than NVIDIA A100 GPUs in a supercomputing environment, reaching 47.9 teraflops. According to internal testing, the most powerful MI200 SKU is 1.2x quicker than comparable accelerators for AI training workloads. The accelerators are built on the new AMD cDNA2 architecture and include the world's first multi-die GPU design, resulting in a record-breaking peak theoretical memory bandwidth of 3.2 terabytes per second, 2.7x higher than the previous generation of Instinct GPUs. The Instinct MI200 series, the successor to the AMD Instinct MI100 range, is expected to outperform NVIDIA A100 GPUs in a supercomputing environment by up to 4.9x, reaching 47.9 teraflops. Internal testing shows that the most powerful MI200 SKU is 1.2x faster than equivalent accelerators for AI training workloads. The accelerators are based on AMD's revolutionary cDNA2 architecture and incorporate the world's first multi-die GPU design, yielding a record-breaking peak theoretical memory bandwidth of 3.2 terabytes per second, 2.7x higher than the previous generation of Instinct GPUs. Although the Instinct MI200 announcement was the highlight of the conference, AMD also used the occasion to launch a new edition of their third-generation EPYC CPUs, dubbed Milan X. The new server chips expand on AMD's Milan CPUs, which were released in March, by introducing 3D chiplet technology developed in collaboration with TSMC. In summary, CPU components such as the logic unit and cache memory are layered on top of one other, taking use of vertical space rather than increasing the chip's overall surface area. Milan X CPUs, thanks to this innovative technology, have 3x larger L3 cache than prior third-generation EPYC, with a 50% average performance boost across specified workloads. Meanwhile, Milan X-based servers are reported to provide a 66% performance boost over basic Milan CPUs, making them the fastest server processors on the market for technical computing applications. Microsoft, Tesla, and Meta are just a handful of the firms that have constructed or announced their own in-house AI supercomputers for internal research in recent years. These systems are not directly comparable to traditional supercomputers since they operate at a lesser degree of precision, allowing a number of companies to swiftly overtake one another by declaring the world's fastest. However, during his keynote talk, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang stated that EOS will rack 275 petaflops of work while doing standard supercomputer jobs 1.4 times faster than the best research computer in the US, the summit. We expect EOS to be the world's fastest AI computer, Huang stated. EOS will serve as the template for our OEMs and cloud partners to build the most sophisticated AI infrastructure. So, what is your opinion on NVIDIA dominating the data center GPU and AI industry in the coming years? Do you trust NVIDIA to handle their leadership well or do you expect their dubious business practices in regards to consumer relations to carry over to businesses? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world.
We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.